back to my channel uh, where we're drawing this uh, little cute kitten. In today's video we're going to be working um, mainly on this ear. We'll see how much we get done as to whether we do the other ear. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started on this ear. Everything you need is linked down below, including the link to my Facebook group where the line art and reference photo can be found. Um, there's lots of stuff that goes on in that Facebook group. I ask your um, ideas, which photo you'd like to do next, that sort of thing. So make sure you join. If you're not subscribed already, um, subscribe. It really helps me out. I'd love to have you here. Uh, we do real-time tutorials every single month. And I'm going to start rambling now and we'll just get drawing. So we're going to start off in this bottom left corner of the ear where we've got some white fur. So I'm just going to make sure that I lift that graphite. And we're going to go in first of all with the cold grey one. And I'm just going to create let me make sure you're, yeah, that little lighter highlight across the edge of this corner. And then that downwards. And then I'm going to take my um, warm grey wool for the rest of this area. So we're using the cold grey one as a highlight of the white fur and this warm grey one for this shadowy area. Then have a um, we have a little mark in here, so I'm coming in with a nugget, and I'm sort of dragging that pencil down, so it looks like there's fur coming up over that mark, and it's underneath that fur, and then we've got this little little mark in there going on. I'm just going to keep this nugget as I bring in this mark and I've got a nice sharp pencil. And then I'm just going to go over the top of that with a warm grey wool. Just to help blend that into the... Um, here. I'm then taking my beige red because we've got a nice pinkish tone here and again I'm going to be creating that effect that this white fur on the face is coming up and over the ear so to do that I'm kind of doing little v-shapes and just pushing that colour down below over the top of that nugget just to create that nice blend and see how we're getting that pinkish tone now now coming in with my cinnamon and again just doing the same thing creating that look that this fur is overlapping but we're just darkening up this pinkish tones and then blending outwards so we're using those lighter strokes as you blend into that beige red area Okay. I'm just going to take my cold grey one and I'm just going to go over the top here. Okay, and then my white. And we're just using that white just to burnish those layers together. Just to help with that blending. Okay, and I'm just going to get my putty eraser again. Just lift some of this graphite. Don't need that white. Okay, 
take it up here. Okay. Okay, so taking the cold grey one again. Up into this ear. Again, it's just about following the shapes that we can see. So that's all I'm doing, just following these shapes. The cool grey one. And then going back to the warm grey one. Down this edge. And then back to the beige red. And then the cinnamon, just along the edge of that cinnamon. And take that white. Just to help with that blending a little bit. Okay, so as we move up around this ear, we're just kind of getting this outline of the ear in. We are going to get to some black, but I'm just going to lift the graphite a little bit. And then I'm just going to come around and just do this cold grey, but uh, that's not cold grey. I want the cold grey one as the base layer. Now we're not going much detail in this ear because it does get a bit soft so we're just going to focus on the tonal values. Right so I've not got, brought this cold grey one right up to this line um, I'm going to add the um, warm grey one here so we've got a bit of a lighter brown like a brown ochre colour in there. We'll use the one grey one for that and then just keep adding the cold grey. Okay, right, I'm then going to come in with the one grey six. Um, especially at the bottom of this ear. And you can see I'm sort of leaving where this whisker is. I'm going to leave the paper showing. Just making sure I've got a gap for that lighter brown. This is sort of medium pressure with this warm grey six. So I've just realised you can't see the tip of that ear. Hang on. Okay. Hopefully that's better. So all I, all I did was apply the base layer. And now we're just using the long grey six to build up the um, the colour on this ear. Okay. 
straight and then it's also kind of very a very faint line here Okay, I'm just going to apply a bit more pressure, building up this here. Right, and I'm going to take the black, and with the black we're just going to really get these darker highlight uh, darker shadows I don't know why I always want to say darker highlights darker shadows mapped in so especially around this ear and down here Okay, and then I'm going to take the warm grey wool, and, uh, no, the warm grey frame, um, and just use that over the top to do the blending, but it's also going to help soften this ear, because we don't want as much detail showing, it is slightly out of focus. I'm going to create that with the um, warm grey frame. Okay, so let's do the top of this ear. So I've got the warm grey one, and I'm going to use the warm grey one as the base layer. I need to move my iPad around, hang on. Okay, so the warm grey one, actually, I just need to lift that graphite a little bit. I don't want that graphite as harsh. So the warm grey one. Kind of doing this top quadrant where we, where you've got that whisker showing through. We're just kind of mapping in this area first. And that's the one where we want as the... Um, base layer. So I'm then going to take the nougat and again I've made sure I'm following that fur direction. I'm just going to map in with the nougat. I don't know what's happened there. Hang on, there we go. <laughs> so just keeping that nugget coming across this ear. Okay. Now I've got the um, cold grey five, and I'm just gonna sort of use this from the black and drag over that nugget. Okay, 
need to make the corner a bit here darker. Not dark enough. No, it's fine. Now we're not really focusing on detail, we're just focusing on these tones. So don't worry about detail. Um, we'll bring this down here. I'm going to darken this little corner up a lot more. But... Right, and I'm going to go back to my nugget. Just over the top there, and then take my warm grey free. Going over all of this. Okay, and then I'm going to take my warm grey one. So it's just a lot of layering. I'm going to use the warm grey one to help us move this out. You can see as you built up with these lighter colours it's really made this um, ear look out of focus. I'm just going to go back in with my warm grey 6. Just need to add in a bit more depth in this black marker. And then I'm just going to bring that warm grey six, not pressing too hard, but just over this corner. And then I'm taking my uh, Venetian red in this corner. Okay, I'm going to use that white again just to burnish. Or you can go back to your one grey one. Okay, um, in this corner of her hair, I'm going to take my brown ochre. Just over that one grey, very light pressure. And my nugget again. And this is just going to create that nice little brown tone that she's got going on. Beige red, a little bit of pink. And to help smooth it out. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to come in with my putty eraser again and just lift some of this graphite. Okay, I'm just taking my black again. I'm just going to darken. You said you're know, using circular motions because I don't want too much detail. Just want this black edge to just be a little bit darker than it is. Right, that's looking better now. Just going to darken here as well. Blend it out a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Right, now taking my white. And with the white, we're going to use really hard pressure. And this is going to be where that... Oh, don't press too hard like I just did. Uh, where the whisker is. So we'll create that little wax resist base. Like we did for the eyes. So we've got one there and we have one here. So 
I'm just mapping in those white whisker lines. And that'll create a nice little resist for us. Okay, now I am going to take my beige red first. And we're going to kind of start down in this corner. Where we've got a lot of bright orange colours going on. But we're going to use the beige red as our base layer. So I'm just going to use circular motions, medium pressure. Just going to build in this colour. And remember to bring it in between some of these hairs. We want to create the look that this ear is behind this hair. Just going to curve that up to about here. A lot of bright colours going on in this ear. In this corner especially. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to get my um just looking we've got quite a bright orange color um i think we're going to start off with the indian red okay so with this indian red we're just following the shape of this ear so i'm doing these curved lines around this ear and then as i come to this fur i'm just going to bring in the indian red behind so you can see already that adding this darker tone is making this ear look like it's um, behind that fur on the face. And bring that Indian red up here. So I don't know if I'm going to make mine as orange as the reference photo. Remember, when you're doing an original piece, you make the colours how you want your piece to be. Okay, I've got quite a bright red in there, so I'm going to just take my dark red here. I'm not going to make it as vibrant a pink, but we're going to make it pinkish in a minute. Stick into these darker tones for now. Little lines here just to indicate that there's some little white hairs over that pink area. Okay, and then I'm going to take my cinnamon over that dark red. And in this corner. Still need a bit of a pinkish tone, so I'm going to take my burnt carmine. Um, this is going to give us that pinkish tone. Again, I've not gone vibrant pink. If you um, wanted to go vibrant pink, I would use um, oh, what's the name of this colour? Sorry, uh, Pink Madder Lake. Um, if you wanted that really bright pink in uh, the corner of your kitten's ear. I couldn't remember the name of the pencil. Uh, Pink Meadow Lake I use a lot in tongues. So I should have remembered that one. Okay, uh, back to the Indian Red. You see my, my ear is a bit more muted, but I'm still getting that colour I want. Right, we need the orange tone, so I'm going to get my Sanguine. Over the top of this Indian Red. So we're blending the Sanguine and the Indian Red to give us a nice blend. And then I'm just taking this sanguine into this ear. Okay, so that beige red, just going to blend over this. Like so, right, we're getting there. <laughs> uh, so we need the beige red again. It's a base layer. Just 
can apply this as the base layer across this bottom part of the ear. Now remember we've got that whisker marked in. So I'm just going to try and draw right up to the edge of the whisker without drawing over the top of that white that we added. And then we're just going to come in here as well. Okay, I can see I need to add a bit more detail into this part of the fur as well. Okay, so I'm going to get my uh, Kaput Mortem this time. Again, in between this hair. And I'm going to just darken. I need to sharpen this. Um, you want a nice sharp point. So we're coming right in between these hairs. So I'm just building up my depth colour behind that fur right. and then I'm, as we bring this out we're just circular motions into that sanguine area there Get my dark red. Just to darken this up again. I can put more to them. And then I'm going to take my warm grey worn over the top. See how that's just blending nicely in there. So we're starting to get the look of some fur here. Um, and we will come back in and uh, sort this out. So at the moment it's looking a bit too straggly. It's not looking like fur, but it will come together um, once we um, bring in a bit more detail there. Right, so in this corner, I'm going to get my Indian red again. Blend that out very slightly, and then I want my vista, um, which I've not got out, so I need to find it. Um, okay, my vista over the top. Um, and then I'm going back with my sanguine. Over the top here. And then my beige red. Harder pressure just to help blend those colours. And then I'm going to take my white. I've got some little like hairs, so nice sharp point, really hard pressure. And if you've got enough layers, we should be able to get that little line showing through. And then we're just going to do one there. It doesn't need to be pure white, we just want like that resemblance that there's something going on there, something in that ear. Okay, now we want our um, burnt sienna. And we're going to just use this burnt sienna in this corner here. So again, where that whisker is, I'm making sure I'm not going over it. Going over this edge here. So there's a lot of colours going on in this ear. But it's all worth it. Once you've built them all up, it's really worth it. Uh, the Kaput Martin. Mainly in the very darkest areas down here. Um, and then I'm going to take my nugget. 
just along this edge again blending and then you can take your one grey one again over the top and just smooth and blend all of that together I'm just going to take my core grey one just over the top of this fur again. You can see that we now need to darken this bit of fur. Um, but we, we can do that. It won't take us long. Back to the white and I'm just going to kind of use this to help blur. Pressing hard. Got something going on in this area. Okay, right, now I'm going to take that burnt carmine again. Um, so we've got a nice pinkish tone here. Again, I'm not going too bright pink, just enough. And then the Venetian red. Take my one grey free. Just sharpen that. I'm just creating some little details along that edge of this ear. white back to that venetian red i just want to blend okay um i'm gonna take that warm gray free down this here, here as well Okay, we're getting there. I nearly got an ear. Okay, as we start to move up this ear here, we've got a lot of little white hairs coming across. Um, and we're going to put them in first with our warm grey one. Um, and that way we can kind of work in and around them with our pink tones, our brown tones. Um, so you need a really sharp pencil. I think I'm going to get a new warm grey one. Okay, so I've got a nice sharp warm grey one. And I'm going to start at the top of the ear and work my way down, just because it's easier for me that way. So I'm going to mark in that one line here. So any areas where you can see little bits of white fur, just map them in. Hard pressure with your warm grey one. And we can add, we can add colour over the top of this um, if we need to. If we need to bring in um, any more tones over the warm grey one. We can do. I'm just gonna, so I'm just mopping in some of these hairs, and I know that I can um, work over the top of this white. Uh, warm grey one sorry so i'm not worried if it's not 100 accurate because we can just draw over the top but i've got the general idea going on here okay so i've got the general shape of these hairs um, and we can just sort of work our way around them now so i'm going to start from here and work our way up so i'm just going to come in with a beige red again working my way around that whisker so with this piece i've made sure that i'm just using the pencils because uh, i know recently i've been using a lot of like the slice tool we use the brush and pencils um touch up texture 
so I wanted to go back to it basics back to just the pencils because I, I get not everybody has all those tools okay so that's the beige red um, I'm just gonna not press hard with that white a little bit here right so um, we actually want a bit of a brownish colour so I'm going to get my uh, Van Dyke brown and we're going to start with a Van Dyke brown in this corner so we've got to bring the black of that ear down as well but I'm just going to start with a Van Dyke brown and you can bring that Van Dyke brown into here just to make it look like it that whisker is just over the top of that fur. The fur is continuing up here. Look at that Van Dyke brown. Okay, I'm going to get my one grey six. This is like the corner of that ear. Hopefully these um, tutorials show how you can just break down quite a complicated area into just little sections. Okay, and then the black. Run that into that Van Dyke brown a little bit. Just going to press harder with a warm grey 6 here. I don't want it to be black, I just want it to be that darker grey. Okay, back to that Van Dyke brown. I'm going to go over that black and just pull some of that pigment out so it blends into this brown area. You can see as well we're starting to get these, these whiskers appearing. Just going to bring that, I'm just making sure that it's the same thickness, more or less. <laughs> okay. Uh, then the cut martum because we've got that pinkish tone so I'm just going over the top of that Van Dyke brown medium pressure with the cut martum I'm going to bring that up here a little bit and into that part of the ear as well okay Okay, so back with the beige red, and I'm just going to apply this beige red across this part of the ear as well. In between those areas where we've got that warm grey. Okay. And then we're going to take the uh, nugget. Medium pressure, I'm not pressing too hard. And take that cut martum again very lightly just to start to blend that out from where we've used it previously and I'm bringing that up in between some of this white fur okay and then the cinnamon over the top of all of that and I'm blending that cinnamon at the bottom of that warm grey one so that it looks like that hair is coming out of the um, ear okay that Van Dyke brown just going to try and do a bit of a nice smoother blend here okay getting a nice ear just going to take my uh, Venetian red just add a pop of this in here. Just 
Okay. And then the Van Dyke Brown, very lightly. And the Beige Red. Um, I'm just going to take that nugget just to highlight some of these little white hairs. And the sky. Oh. Oh, here. Okay, let's keep going up the ear. So, um, as we come up here, it's quite dark. Um, but I'm still going to stick to this beige red in between as the uh, base layer because it works quite nicely. Making sure that I keep that area white for that whisker. Okay. I'm going to go in with my warm grey free. Blend it out from that black. And then the nugget. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over that with a beige red. Then taking my copper, and I'm going to run this copper in between all this fur. Oh no, I won't be able to use this, it's snapped, all the things to do, oops, I'm using light, oh no, it's not going to work, I'm going to have to resharpen my co copper, okay, <laughs> that's okay anyway, uh, my Venetian red, We need a bit of that sanguine as well, a bit of that orange tone coming through. And then I'm going to take my warm grey one over all of this. And I'm doing it over all of it because we know we've got that warm grey one hair, so it'll just darken that. Come down here. Okay, so I need a bit more definition in this hair so I'm going to take my one grey free and just bring in some darker areas in between that fur get my nugget and I'm just going to do the same also oh this is the Van Dyke brown I'm just going to Bring that hair from that one grey six and then get oh, then get your nugget darken these areas. Such fine fur in their ears, just gotta be careful. Okay. Uh, the warm grey free, very lightly, just going to darken. And then I'm going to take my white 
really emphasize this white whisker and that one and then I'm just gonna I'm not gonna be able to see this but it's just gonna help smooth out and make it look like there's something going on there over those white hairs uh, I take that kaput mortem I'm just gonna yeah, see it just needs a little bit to be dead Words needs to be a little bit darker in between these hairs, and that Van Dyke brown. I'm just going to use on that little patch that we had going on over that nugget, just to help darken that one up as well. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that here. Just gonna smooth that line out. That's the put mortem here. Uh, then the warm grey free. Just trying to make sure that the areas around that white whisker are darker, so that, that white whisker really stands out. Okay, that's better. There we go. So that's uh, the first ear done. Okay, so I'm going to sort out this fur on the face. So I've got my Col Grey 2, and I'm just going to start bringing in some details. So again, making sure we're going direction of that fur. I was going to see if we could do the other ear, but I think it'll be too long of a video, so we might as well sort out the white fur here. So I'm just pressing harder with a cold grey to sharp pencil, really building up some of that detail. Okay, that's changing. You can see already we're bringing a lot of life to this piece. This is all just by using that cold grey too. And then I'm just going to take my cold grey one. We want these whisker lines here, yeah, so I'm just going to press really hard with that white. Okay, and then the cold grey too. Into that cold grey one. Looks better now. Cold grey two. Just sticking to this cold grey two and just building up some of this detail. Cold grey one. Over the top here. Okay, so that looks so much better now. So much better. <laughs> Um, I'm just wondering whether we do a little bit of the fur around that bottom of the eye. Um, I can move you there. So I'm just going to take my cold grey wool. Just do this little bit and really bring this eye to life. I 
not uh, in my white not pressing too hard because we want to be able to work on top of this but it's just going to help we blend in here right okay so take that cold grey two again and just start to bring in oops, some deeper so it's little short first strokes with the sharpest point of that pencil you can see it's just going to build up that detail Get my warm grey wool over the top as well, building up some detail with this. Warm grey two. Such a cute kitten. <laughs> I think those vibrant eyes are really setting her face off. Uh, got the beige red again. A little bit of this pinkish tone. Under there. Take that white. Just... Actually, I'm going to get my eraser. Um, if you've got the Tombow eraser, um, just clean that edge. Just want to bring in a little bit of that. So with a Tom, Ooh, with the Tombow, we can use it to just lift a little bit of pigment and create those blurred looks. It's not going to remove all the pigment. Just going to add a little bit of detail and we can do this here just to help soften those edges okay right um let's just go, go, go up to this um corner here i'm just going to remove that graphite I'm going to use that white as a resist for that whisker there, so nice sharp point on your white. And then the cold grey one. The base layer, so remember you follow in that third direction. So I am doing this as like little pencil strokes rather than one big base layer. It has been like pencil strokes. And this is because we're going to be working quite lightly on top of it with it being white fur. Okay. Then the cold grey too. And then I'm going to take that white over the top. And I think uh, this is the cold grey two again. I'm going to leave this piece here because I don't want to get too detailed on this side of the face just yet. We're 
built up a nice base to work on with some details. And we've got that ear in, so let me zoom you out. So here's our little kitten so far. Uh, we've got that ear done and uh, this side of her face. So uh, the next part will be the next ear, maybe this part of the face. We obviously have a lot of face here to darken up. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this part of the tutorial and I will see you in the next part. Bye everybody.